Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to load a custom ROM on the HTC Desire. If you're not already there, head over to TheUnlocker.com, spell like that in the address bar, and search for the How to Load a Custom ROM on the HTC Desire procedure. Okay, before you begin, you must have done our How to Root the HTC Desire procedure. Uh, if you haven't, there's a link right there in, se in step one. Click on that, go do that procedure. Once you're done, then you can come back and continue here. Okay, first thing you do is you decide what ROM you want. So click on our HC Desire ROMs link right here, be taken to our HC Desire ROM section. Scroll down and choose the ROM you want. We'll do the first one. If you scroll down on the developer's page, you should find a download link somewhere. Here we have ROM with default Motoko editions. We're gonna click on that and begin downloading. Now we're gonna take our phone while that's downloading, plug it in by USB. Choose disk drive when it asks, so we can transfer stuff to the SD card. Okay, so now we're gonna take the ROM that we downloaded, and we're gonna drag it over, leave it as a .zip, don't unzip it, to our memory card. And we're not gonna put it inside any folders on the memory card, just on the memory card itself, and wait for that to transfer. Okay, so once that's done transferring, we're gonna unmount the SD card by clicking charge only. Then we're gonna turn the phone off, And we're going to turn it back on by holding down volume down and power. So we get this screen. Wait for it to try to find the file that it won't find. Okay, and then we're going to push down on volume and power to select recovery and wait for it to reboot into recovery. The phone should reboot into this recovery screen with the exclamation point. Okay, now we're going to go to the folder in our C drive that we uh, extracted in the rooting process called Desire Root, uh, and we're going to double click the recovery windows.bat file and hit run. Okay, and the phone should show the recovery menu now. We're going to use the trackpad, we're going to scroll down to white. Wipe data factory reset. Wait for that to finish. Wipe Dalvik cache. Wait for that to finish. Then we're going to hit power down to go back. Scroll down to flash zip from SD card. And we're going to scroll down to the ROM that we just put on the phone. Push the trackpad. Push it again to confirm. And wait for it to finish flashing. Okay, once the phone boots up, you're now on your new custom ROM. Enjoy.